Hey, good morning, VCers. Uh, Tony back. Tony's LPs are us. Um, I pulled this uh, record out of the uh, one of the boxes I had from an old uh, pickup I did either at a flea market or at a thrift shop. And um, usually I clean my records right away. And this one I didn't clean. As you can see, it has a uh, very bad mold situation. And if I flip it over, uh, you'll see why. Right there, and it didn't have an inner sleeve. Has some uh, last owner's uh, scribble. This is a uh, one of a favorite um, favorite Deep Purple record, a vintage Deep Purple record, it's the original OG. And like I said, it didn't have a inner sleeve, and that's the consequences there. So I'm going to clean it up. The record doesn't look bad. It has a few hairlines which uh, I don't think is going to be a problem. So I'm going to uh, add some of my cleaning fluid, and we're going to clean it on the VPI. And this is a good opportunity to really show you uh, what this machine can do. Just spray a little bit on here. Even if you get a little bit on the label, I've never had a problem. It usually, you know, not usually, I would say all the time, uh, I, I just wipe it right off. And again, you can see that mold. Uh, this is the worst of it. The other side isn't good either, which I'll show you in a second. Just going to attach this on. We're going to turn on the uh, control panel. And uh, we get that on, and we'll uh, check this out in a second. Okay, here we go. And I'm going to get my brush. This is a... Uh, Pretty strong bristle. It doesn't harm the grooves at all. It doesn't harm your vinyl. Just going to rub that in pretty good. And I really squish it in there. Remember, this is an extremely dirty album. I get those grooves in right. And then I'll repeat and rinse. That's a nice record here. Beatles sing, chipmunks sing the Beatles. Okay. We're going to turn on vacuum. Turn off vacuum. And I'm going to repeat with some fluid. This will give it a deep clean. And I make this with a concentrate with uh, distilled water. I never use any alcohol product, obviously, uh, because alcohol and plastic or vinyl uh, doesn't really like each other. Here I have just plain distilled water, H2O. Put a little bit on here. And I always use a different pad or brush for the water. Just gonna get that off just for a quick rinse, not a big deal. Rub it in there. These VPIs are workhorses. Built right here in the great state of New Jersey. And let me show you what that looks like. Oh, wow. Nice. Beautiful. And we'll flip it over. As you can see, the other side is pretty grimy as well has um, some writing on it like i said i picked this up at a yard sale or at a flea market or thrift shop so we'll do the other side fast
And you don't need to add as much uh, liquid the third or second go around because the bristle actually contains that. Uh, if you're a purist, you probably will want to uh, actually rinse off your brush so as not to contaminate the other side. But I'm I'm not really that anal about it. It's it comes off in the vacuum anyway. And I rub that in pretty good. Set the controls. Repeat. Excuse my uh, jerkiness. I'm doing this with the phone with one hand, actually. So uh, vacuum back on. I usually revolve three or four times, and then I use a static gun because static can build up with repeated vacuumings. And then there's a little bit of uh, H2O, distilled water. And uh, just a quick rinse. And we turn on the, the panel there. I have a nice bright light directly overhead. So I could really pick up any uh, hairlines or uh, scratches that you, you cannot see in, in some normal light. Sometimes when you buy these records at different types of uh, venues, the light's not really good, so you really have to do it. And you can see there's some hairlines there, but I think this is going to play well. Obviously, I haven't played it yet. There's the label. And uh, we'll flip this around. classic i'm not even sure what year this came out maybe 66 67 68 or so so there you have it and let me just show you the record again the uh, jacket record and you can see the front is uh, a little damaged there and the back is totally trashed but yeah. Being the better that it is with it, when I looked at it, I saw that, you know, mold and things, but I bought records that, are, that were worse that cleaned right up. So if you're out there and you see a record with mold on it, mold will usually come out, especially with a vacuum cleaner. You could actually rub it out by hand, and, uh, you know, there's plenty of methods on YouTube that show you how to do that. And like I said, this didn't have an inner sleeve, so I will put a nice new inner sleeve in here and... I will actually go inside the jacket and try to eliminate uh, with some type of uh, wipe the uh, mold that's inside. I'm not even sure how long I've had this record, but this is a great record. Uh, here they do um, a great version of We Can Work It Out. They also do an unbelievable River Deep Mountain High and uh, just a cool Kentucky woman. And you can hear the elements here of their... Um, later hits like deep purple and burn and, and you know live uh live record so uh this is the original lineup and you could see right there the uh so uh there you have it we just cleaned it the book of Towson, deep purple and i hope you enjoy this video it's only under 10 minutes please like and subscribe if you haven't done so and i appreciate all the previous subscriptions so we're um uh, we're happy to uh, thank everyone again. So uh, keep rocking, and I uh, hope you enjoy this little demo. Ciao.